condition preceded by the uh, growth parameters and vital signs. So academically speaking, during the exam or during the uh, presentation of the case, you have to go step by step in academic way. But practically, you first start by the general look of the patient and then go to the examination of the precordium, looking at it, and then auscultation of the precordium. Please keep this point in your mind. So, an inspection includes looking at the face of the patient, whether he is uh, looking critically ill or not, and then uh, whether he is cyanosed or not, uh, whether he is pale or not, and also focusing on his uh, body build, whether uh, he is looking underweight and chronically ill or not. Also, whether there is any visible edema or puffiness of the face. Don't forget to check for the, the small fetishes of the different syndromes. The most common syndrome in your practice is the Down syndrome, which has many features that's going to be explained by uh, my colleagues. After finishing the inspection, you go to the local examination of the cardiovascular system, and this includes uh, precordial examination. First, look at the precordium, which is the area overlying the heart, and here, uh, look for any precordial bulging. I mean that the precordium is uh, protruding forward, and this indicates that there is underlying cardiac again. Also, look for the presence of any scar, indicating the previous operations. The commonest scar seen in the pediatric age groups is the mid sternum scar. It is done in the mid of the sternum, from the suprasternal notch down to the sub-sternum. And this is usually done for the corrective surgeries, and sometimes even for the palliative surgeries. Sometimes you have lateral thoracotomy scars also, and sometimes also from the back, the posterior thoracotomy scars. Also I look for the pulsation, whether there is any visible pulsation in the precordium, indicating that there is hyperdynamic circulation, but put in your mind that small children and infants have thin chest wall usually, and their apical pulsation is usually normally visible. Deformity of the chest also is an important part, like pigeon chest deformity, as you know, or, um, uh, yeah, I mean, tectus excaviatum, tectus uh, uh, craniatum deformities. These are mostly related to the respiratory system, but sometimes they are congenital and might be associated with some uh, congenital heart diseases. 